Facebook. Well, Facebook, there you go. That's kind of a piece of our conversation today. So we're going to be talking about some of the big news with Facebook. Um, some of that is some of the challenges. We'll, we'll say challenges. That's a good word for that, right? Over the last few months, outages and controversy and things like that. And and the meta announcement and the metaverse and what all that is. Um, pretty great topic, Sarah. Thanks for putting this one together. I think there's a lot that we can talk about here. Um, but why don't we start a little bit from the beginning, not all the way back, but, you know, the last couple of months and what's been going on with social media and Facebook and all that. More than the last couple of months, it's kind of the last couple of years. Um, there's been, you know, a lot of buzz uh, that Facebook may have played a part in contributing to extreme controversy in the political and medical fields. Um, and because of that, it's gotten a lot of criticism, we'll say. Um, so as most people know, October 4th, Facebook was down for most of the day. So it was Instagram, so it was WhatsApp and a few, few other platforms. And a lot of the question was why. A lot of people had theories, a lot of people had really off the wall questions and things like that. Facebook claims it was a router issue, um, but the buzz is that they were restructuring their faulty, unfair fair algorithms, things like that. Um, but they also lost $60 million that day in ad revenue. <laughs> so the question with that is, if it was a choice, if it was their own choice, what did they have to gain from that? Um, and then shortly afterwards, they came up with a meta announcement. So there's a lot of different things you can come up with. There's a lot of different puzzle pieces you can put together and a lot of different theories. But the a big realization that came from that is people started realizing how much they were using those platforms and was it unhealthy i myself if you would have asked me before the outage i would have said i check facebook maybe twice a day instagram once or twice a day but i realized as i was logging in i realized when it wasn't there how much i was actually checking it and it was a lot more than i thought and because of that it did, it did make me question my social, social media usage. And a lot of people have been saying that. So because of that, a lot of people are thinking there's a lot of questions up in the air. So does Meta tie into this? Were they restructuring for Meta? There's a lot of things we can think about. Um, but then what is Meta is the next piece? Yeah, you know, and... You know, maybe we should have a, a social media detox session or something like that. You know, <laughs> let's talk about your social media usage there, Sarah. I'm really concerned. Um, you know, for myself, reddit.com, that's my social media. Um, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Vice. Vice, you know, yeah. Of choice. Um, I think a lot of that mm-hmm. is where we're, a lot of us adults, I hope not too many kids, you know, place in society, culture, whatever. It's like a go-to when we want to be distracted, when we just want to like disconnect with what we're doing. And what did we do before that? You know, TV was probably a little bit more. TV's still there, but you know, what's what's available right here is just so much more interesting. I think. I know I did a lot more like doodling and note taking before social media. Creativity's dead. Jeez, I knew it. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, that's that's an interesting thing. Like that's that's kind of where it is for me, you know. Um, there's a really funny commercial I recall from a few years back. I think it was like some kind of commercial paid for, like a foundation for reading or reading Rainbow Day or something. I don't know, right? But it was like this guy, you know, he's in his house and like um, the power is out or something, and um, like the TV shuts off, and he just like sits down in his bed and he's just really distraught, like. Huh. And he like over at his nightstand. He's got like a little nightlight thing. Maybe it's a candle or something like that. And he's, there's a book. And he's just like, what is this? He opens the book. <laughs> and it's like, wow. You know, like it's some amazing. I was like, I get it. I get it. You know, and, and now that's that's where social media is. I think a lot of us are like over social media to some degree. We've just found other things we don't think are social media. But things like Reddit, it's social media. YouTube, social media. Um, and that being said, there's been interesting research in that area about, you know, is social media good for us? Does it have a positive impact? And this you know, particular organization, I can't remember off the top of my head who it is, so I'm not going to like quote or cite here. But general, the results of their research was that you know things like Instagram 
have an overall negative impact, particularly in young people, because it has people assessing um, their physical appearance compared to others and things like that. I think there's a lot to think about there because of Photoshopping and all that and the types of images people get. Um, and Facebook, it's, it's kind of thrown in that realm because, you know, controversy like you, you um, hinted at. But YouTube was found very positive. A lot of people use YouTube for learning how to do things and for entertainment, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so I, I found that fascinating. I um, fixed my dishwasher on YouTube. I jump started my friend's car on YouTube. A lot of things on YouTube. There you go. And, you know, if you record a video of you learning about it on YouTube and actually doing it, I mean, you have your own channel and people are like, hey, look, That's lady true. fixed his car. Pretty cool. Um, <laughs> but the meta announcement, all that. I know I was thinking that it was kind of funny with the timing of stuff. Facebook had problems with politics going back to like the Cambridge Analytica thing and elections and data mining and, and all that. And that could be its own session, but it's, that's kind of old news at this point. Mm -hmm. um, but the idea that, you know, Facebook or social media platforms being used to influence elections as a, as a topic, that was interesting. A lot of notoriety there and all the stuff with algorithms and you know the controversy these days with politics and medical stuff there's a lot of heat right and it's at the newest play in the playbook to you know do a rebrand you know yeah. in the midst of that kind of stuff i, I mean when the yeah. meta announcement came i was like that's not surprising to me yeah i wonder what do you think time. do you think that's been in the works for a while i do um i think facebook has felt threatened for a long time especially when new social media platforms um, competing and at times like um, doing better than Facebook. I know when I downloaded, I think we talked about this last chat or the one before, when I started using TikTok, I realized how much, how much I liked it more than Facebook and how much more I was using it. Um, and I mean, there are different reasons for that. I think the the algorithm is works really well with that one. And um, I see a lot of just really relatable content in that way. Um, but it, I mean, it's easy to see how and you mentioned Reddit and I actually love Reddit too. I think it's a really great, great way to learn things and to find things on topics I'm already interested in. Yeah, that's so, what I use Reddit for, learning. Yeah. <laughs> knowledge whatever kind of knowledge even just pop knowledge um but it's easy to see why facebook would feel threatened why would they would think that maybe they're falling out of um falling out of line with the the direction that other uh social media platforms are moving in so it's it's easy to see that they would try something new i mean usually what they've been doing is kind of just stealing other social media's ideas <laughs> they steal the the stories from Instagram, well, they own Instagram now. Um, there used to be a, a, an app, there might still be called Time Hop. Facebook took all of that idea, <laughs> all of that glory. Nobody uses Time Hop anymore. So it's like, it's easy to see why when they feel threatened and it's something that they aren't really able to replicate, why they would try something new and try something drastic. Hi, this is Sarah from Denver Data Web. Thanks for watching. Please like our video and subscribe for future digital strategy chats. You can also visit our website at denverdata.com or find us on social media at Denver Data Web.